Hello, and welcome everyone. We are going to talk about Sandman. We are not going to talk about his origin and backstory. In this video, we will talk about all powers and abilities Sandman has got. So before we get started don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss an upcoming update. With that out of the way let's get started with the video. The Sandman has the ability to transform his body. He can will his body to be hardened, compacted, dispersed or shaped, or a combination of those qualities, an earth manipulation of sand and rock particles. More often than not in combat, this ability enables him to absorb most blows with little to no ill effect, other than reforming himself, a relatively fast action. His striped shirt and cargo pants are colored sand to make him appear as if he wears clothes. Even when soaked, he was able to stretch his sand molecules, growing to double his size. Sandman can mold his arms and hands into shapes, such as a mace or a sledgehammer, to battle Spider-Man and his other enemies. His mass, strength, and shape-shifting ability correspond to the number of sand and rock particles that comprise him. The more he incorporates sand grains and rock granules into his body, the more those qualities are enhanced. Even though he controls every particle in his body, his mind exists in the astral plane. He can turn himself into a sandstorm, which enables him to fly great distances and to suffocate his enemies. His body takes on sand's chemical qualities impervious to many, but not all, elements. Once, the cement's ingredients were mixed into Sandman. That mixture turned him into cement that dried, rendering him immobile. Despite this frailty, he remained alive, but in a coma-like state for a while, before he returned to normal. In addition to his superb endurance, the Sandman possesses superhuman strength several times more than Spider-Man's and is on a par with the things. In a story with the wizard, the wizard fashioned Sandman a green suit with a belt that contained three buns that allowed various chemicals to mix into the Sandman's body to enable him to change himself into consistencies related to sand. The suit, like the Sandman's usual clothes, changed into the sand with him. Eventually, with the disbanding of the original Frightful Four, the Sandman stopped using the suit. Temperature does alter the Sandman. At 3,400 degrees Fahrenheit, his body turns into glass, also a form he can control. Unlike the Sandman's fast transformation from sand to glass, his transformation from glass to sand takes time. Although he is invulnerable to most physical attacks, even projectiles because they pass through him, water is a different story. There are some exceptions, for example, while fighting Venom, the villain's powerful mouth ripped cleanly and swiftly into the Sandman. Water so. The amount of sand removed abruptly, and perhaps because of Venom's venoms, left the mass of the Sandman in contortion crippled beyond immediate repair. The Sandman began to disintegrate, then flowed down a drain, and then washed up onto and into a beach. It has been revealed that, while the Sandman can absorb and lose sand, his body must retain one key particle of sand that contains his conscious mind, allowing Spider-Man to defeat him once by isolating that one grain from the rest of the Sandman. Over time, Sandman's powers evolved greatly. In addition to forming blunt objects like maces and hammers with his fists, Sandman is able to create clones of himself in the sand. These first appear in the Gauntlet storyline in the Amazing Spider-Man issue 615. Some of these clones develop minds of their own and commit a series of grisly murders that Spider-Man initially believes Marco is responsible for. Sandman's powers then start to diminish, to the point he's barely able to maintain control of himself. Beyond clones, there are other versions of Sandman in the comic books as well. One of the most interesting is an android who was created by the Mad Thinker in Fantastic Four issue 100. The Mad Thinker routinely created lifelike duplicates of people, including versions of famous scientists like Albert Einstein. This version of Sandman fought against the Fantastic Four but didn't survive the experience. Numerous other versions exist throughout the comic book, multiverse as well, including from the Ultimate Comics and print from the early 2000s, and the Spider-Verse web of infinite universes that the comic started to explore in 2014. That's all Sandman has got. With that we will bring this video to an end. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.